all of a sudden what was lifeless started sneezing. <laughs> sneezing is a sign of progress. <laughs> Don't sleep on the sneeze. <laughs> so are you ready? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> really fast. And I tried to get this recorded and I couldn't even get it. That's how fast they come. Out of the blue. Every time. Never close. Oh my 
my god. Go away! <laughs> what are you doing? You have seen That cannot be real. Are you okay? Still not coming. That little thing does not want to go. I think my brain cells will multiply. I think that should be the myth. When you sneeze, your brain cells multiply. So you become much smarter. Oh, I want some food. Chicken. Fried chicken. With potato salad. Fried squash. Oh, that's good. Rutabaggers. Oh, I can totally get that. Yeah. I get a bowl of buttermilk. And I put my um, pieces of chicken inside the buttermilk. And I set it every night. This is how I cook my fried chicken. Alright. You get a bowl of buttermilk. And you put your pieces of chicken inside the buttermilk. And you put the buttermilk in the refrigerator and let it set for at least four hours in the fridge or overnight. And then that day that when you want to cook it, you get your flour ready. And what I do is sprinkle as much as I want pepper and salt into my flour. Go ahead and do that. And then I get my chicken from the buttermilk and I dip it in the flour, both sides. And I get my fry daddy and put it on how many degrees I need to put it on and I fry it. And it's really juicy and good. So I do it. That's how I do my fried chicken. And it's not greasy, it's really crispy when it turns out. Because when I tried doing it before with just flour, you know how you just get the chicken and flour it up and everything? And it seemed like the flour just kind of, it'd be soggy or it'd just, you know, go away. And so I decided to do, uh, try this buttermilk with it. it have some, so it seems like the buttermilk absorbs the flour, so it makes it a little bit crispier. Steve.
first, I want to say thank you to all of the Niche Tribe. Subscribers and Patreon members, we could not do this without you. You guys keep us lifted up and supported. Absolutely insane. We have a guy. Excuse me. Sorry. Jordan, bless you. Thank you. The seafood department going again? Maybe. Do sorry. it. Oh, God. Okay, it went away. Oh, God. This happens to me every time. I'll get a couple out, and then the last one just stays stuck in my face, and then I just look like this for like two minutes. Oh. If you're watching on YouTube, you're welcome. Oh, God. I can't get it out. I hate being sick. It's like having sex with her in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I get a couple of them out and then this one just gets stuck. Yeah, I got it. If this is my <laughs> face, I'm surprised you would ever want to <laughs> me. <laughs> Be fun diffs. There you go. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you start a podcast. You have to put out an episode every week. And rain or shine, sick or healthy, you gotta record. So, <laughs> enjoy all. It's not. I'll be sick next episode. <laughs> I know. I hate it. I feel like we're really roommates the last couple of days because I'm trying to not get you sick because we haven't been making out or boning. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I sneezed and I didn't get it into my elbow in time and so I kind of went like into the atmosphere. Me, right no, it face. wasn't at you, but right it wasn't face. covered. I was like, sorry about that. And you're like, I'd rather get sick from f***ing you than being sneezed on. So... <laughs>